Good afternoon, Ben Buys Beverages. It is a drizzly, rainy afternoon here in Mobile, Alabama. And that's all right, because I'm indoors and not worried about the rain. I scalped the lawn this morning, so I don't have to worry about yard work or dead leaves for quite some time. Which means it's time for beer. But before I break the beer out, I ask that you hit the like and subscribe buttons. Maybe click the notification bell so you know when my next video drops. When this video drops. Now, today's beer is another lovely beer from North Coast Brewing. I've had a few of their beers on before. But today's is Scrimshaw. And yes, I've moved the camera closer to me to try stuff out. So please, in the comments, if this works better for all y'all, let me know. Ooh, and bonus, if you know what these books are next to me, let me know that too. Anyways, Scrimshaw from North Coast Brewing. The box was destroyed because something leaked in the fridge and the box bore the brunt of it. Poor, poor cardboard. But suffice it to say, it's 4.5 alcohol uh, percent and it is a Pilsner. And I may or may not already have firsthand experience knowing just how delicious it is. Anyhow, so let's pour uh, some Scrimshaw and we'll see if it makes me break out in the song. Because quite frankly, sounds lovely. The word Scrimshaw makes me think of like whaling in the 18th century and that terrible, awful book, Moby Dick, which as an English major, I should have read. But I've gotten by on the Classics Illustrated version because, quite frankly, it's a terrible book. Most books written back then are way long and I suspect were paid by the word. I know Dickens stuff was. What the Dickens? Look at that! Gracious! Here we go. Oh, I don't know if you like it being closer, but I certainly do. This is lovely. Anyhow, and this is a lovely... Uh, Light straw, blonde colored beer. It smells, it smells beery in a very faintly sweet way. And it tastes faintly sweet. I think it's great. <clears throat> it's so great that I feel compelled to give you a little bit of an art history lesson. For those unaware, Scrimshaw as the picture kind of shows you in this glare, is a uh, art form where you take bone, typically whale bone from sperm whales or um, walrus tusks, and you carve into it and you make pretty pictures, which then dissolve because bone and ivory are organic and you gotta take special care of them. But regardless, it calls to mind 18th century whalers. Yes, whaling is a terrible, terrible way to go about doing anything but back in the day it was all they knew and of course there's songs about it i did a little bit of research but really outside of a few references and stan rogers songs all i really have for you <clears throat> excuse me Ooh, had a couple beers ahead of time there's a noble race of Sailors hailing from Dundee, manned by British sail. Wow, I botched that. There's a noble fleet of whalers hailing from Dundee, manned by British sailors who take us o'er the sea. On a western ocean passage, we started on our trip. We flew along just like a song in a gallant whaling ship. On the second Sunday morning, just after leaving port, we met a heavy southwest gale and washed away our boat. It washed away our quarterdecks, our stanchions just as well. So we sent the whole ship bang floating in the gale. And the wind was on her quarter, and the engines working free. There's not another whaler who sails the Arctic Sea. Can't beat the old Polina, you need not try my sons. They challenged all both great and small from Dundee to St. John's. And there's like two or three other verses. Anyhow, that's Great Big Seas, Old Polina. I have no idea where it originated from. And that's the only one I can sing more or less by heart because Great Big Sea is fun and also Canadian. But anyhow, you didn't sign up to hear me sing. You signed up to look about my beer. 
Yeah, the camera's gonna be this close again. This is lovely. Mm -hmm. It's sweet, but not super sweet. And at 4.5%, you can have more than one and not really feel too bad about it. Um, it kind of matches the rainy day and encourages me to have more. So I'll just, I may just finish this can that I started. And I will say that this, for what it does, is 10 out of 10. Yeah, 10 out of 10 bottle caps. Not all the North Coast hit 10, but Scrimshaw certainly does. And because of that, I say unto you, cheers. Have a wonderful weekend.